Welcome to AHA Math and Science. Today we're going to solve a log of two and a log of three by hand in a very fast way. So what is log of two? Log of two is basically the logarithmic of two at a base of 10. And the trick here is to find a value a such that the log of a can be easily evaluated and also a is some power of two. So what do we mean by easily evaluate? Let's take a look of log of 10. Log of 10 is just equal to one because 10 is 10 to the power of one. What about log of 100? 100 is 10 to the power of two. So log of 100 is equal to two. And then we can continue and look at a log of 1000 since 1000 is 10 to the power of three. So log 1000 is just equal to three. But none of these numbers, 10, 100 or 1000 are powers of two. So let's take a look at power two. Two to the one is two, two to the two is four, two to the three is eight, and two to the four is 16, and two to the power five is 32. So among these numbers, it looks like the number eight is very close to 10. However, the difference is still more is about uh, actually exactly 20%. So let's see if some high powers two uh, can be made more closer to the 100 or 1000. So two to the six is 64, two to the seven is 128, two to the eight is 156, and two to the power of nine is 512, and two to the power of 10 is 1024. Among these numbers, uh, 128 is very close to 100, but still off by more than 20%. And then the number 1024 is actually very close to 1000. And the difference between 1000 and 1024 is only about 2%. So it seems like this number 1024 might be a good choice. And we can use this to try to evaluate log of two. So we're gonna try this value of a equal to two to the power of 10 or 1024. So when we try this number 1024, on one hand, log of 10 to 24 is equal to log of two to the 10 power. And then we can bring this exponent 10 to the front and, the, uh, and the write this as 10 times log of two. And the log of two is what we are after. On the other hand, log of 10 to 24 is, can be approximate to be log of 1000 because 10 to 24 is very close to 1000. And log of 1000, we already know it's just equal to three. Now we can equalize this two and we find 10 log of two equal to three. Therefore log of two is equal to three divided by 10 or 0 0.3. And let's look at what's the exact answer of log of two. Well, the exact answer for log of two is 0 0.3010. So the difference between 0 0.3, which is our approximate answer and the exact answer is, is only off by 0 0.001. It's very, very close. And the method is also very fast, as you can see. Now with this method, can we try to figure out log of three? So again, our approach is based on this principle that we can find a value A such that the log of this A can be easily evaluated. And second, we want this A to be some power of three. So now let's take a look at uh, powers of three. Three to the one is just three. Three to the power two is nine. Three to the power three is 27. And three to the power four is 81. And then three to the five is 243. So if you look at these numbers, you may wonder like, oh, nine is very close to 10. So we can easily evert this one. But nine is still quite different from 10 because the difference is, on, is actually 10 percent, right? Difference between nine and 10 is one, but one over 10, that's 10%. 10 that's a big difference. So we wonder if we have another number we can evaluate you know, more easily. Maybe we can actually try 81. Why? Because now we already know what log two is. We can use this information and try to evaluate log of 81. So what is log of 81? Um, Log of 81 can be evaluated or approximated as log of 80. And the difference between 81 and 80 
is a little over 1%. And now, using the product rule of log function and the log of A times B is equal to log A plus log B, and since 80 is equal to 10 times 8, we can write log of 80 equal to log of 10 plus log of 8. And log of 10 is just equal to 1, and log of 8, since 8 is 2 to the power 3, we can bring the 3 to the front and then write as 3 times log of 2. And then we just know that log of 2 is 0 0.3, so 3 times 0 0.3 is 0 0.9, 1 plus 0 0.9 is 1.9. So we actually figure out what log 80 is. And then we also know log of 81 is log of three to the power four, because 81 is three to the power four. We can bring this exponent four to the front and write as four times log of three. Now we can equalize this two, and, and this is what we have. Four times log of three is 1.9. 1, 1 and log of three therefore is equal to 1.9 over four, which is equal to 0 0.475. So what is the exact answer of log of three? Log of three is actually equal to 0 0.477. Again, we have a very close, you know, our answer is very close to the exact answer. And the difference is only 0 0.002. And in fact, you know, this method is, you know, it can be used to evaluate the log of any numbers. And uh, the, the answer is actually, you know, it's, it's very you know, accurate. And the difference is usually uh, is, is about like 1% you know, a difference or sometimes less than that, as you can see from these two examples. And the trick is to find a value A so that the log of A can be easily varied. And the A is, is basically uh, some power of the numbers you want to evaluate. So if you're interested, you may want to give it a try to see if you can figure out log of seven and uh, compare with the exact answer. And I hope you have enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.